Finally, we have an image generator that can actually generate accurate hands and fingers. And not only that, it can also generate text accurately. It can even generate these mediocre, low-quality selfie images that normal people take. So I mean, with this new image generator, it would be almost impossible to tell AI photos apart from real photos. Let's do a quick test here. I'm using the same prompt and produce an image from each image generator. One from Flux, one from Stable Diffusion 3, and one from SDXL. Now, between left, right, and center, I'm not going to tell you which model is which. You let me know which one looks the best to you. So, here's the first prompt. This image shows three young African children, two boys and a girl, standing on a dirt ground. They are all smiling and making a peace sign with their fingers. The girl is wearing a green and yellow patterned dress, and the boys are wearing casual clothes. The boy on the left is holding the girl on top of him, while the boy in the middle is holding her up in the air with both hands. All right, so let me know which image you think is best, left, right, or center. By the way, for each model, I'm keeping their positions left, right, and center the same. I'm not shuffling any of their positions. Now here's another comparison. The prompt is a photo of a blonde-haired woman with a pistol in each hand and an open mouth facing the camera. So, let me know which one looks best to you. Next, we have the famous prompt of a woman lying on grass. So, it's pretty obvious here which one looks the best. Here's another comparison. Let me know which one you think looks the best. So here's the next one. The image shows three children sitting in the trunk of a red car. The car is parked on a dirt road with trees and bushes. They are sitting on a blanket and are eating slices of watermelon in their hands. The boy on the left is wearing a blue striped shirt and shorts. The girl in the middle is wearing blue shorts and a white t-shirt. The girl on the right is wearing an orange shirt. So, really tricky prompt. There's a lot of details here. So which image do you think looks best in this case? Now here's another comparison. The prompt here is a young woman playing a bass guitar on a stage. She is wearing a black dress and black boots. She has long blonde hair styled in loose waves. And pay attention to her fingers and the bass. A bass should have four strings only. So which image do you think looks best in this case? Now here's another comparison. So here the prompt is, a young woman standing on a street with her back to the camera. She's wearing a white t-shirt, black skirt, knee-high socks, and brown shoes. She has a large blue backpack on her back with a brown strap and a small teddy bear on it. So, let me know which one looks best to you. In the next comparison, here we have the prompt. A young woman standing on a sidewalk with her arms raised in the air. She's wearing a gray t-shirt with a graphic of a dog on it, a white skirt, and white sneakers. She has a yellow backpack on her back and is smiling at the camera. Next to her, there is a small white dog, possibly a Pomeranian, sitting on the sidewalk. So, let me know which one looks best to you. All right, next. The prompt is a photograph of a black-haired woman in a white dress with bloodstains, sitting on a red couch to the right of a chiming clock, holding a rose in her left hand with three skulls at her feet. A very tricky prompt. Let me know which one looks best to you. Next, we have anime. So here the prompt is, an anime girl with massive fluffy fennec ears and a fluffy tail, blonde messy long hair, blue eyes wearing a maid outfit with long black dress, etc, etc, eating a slice of apple pie in the kitchen of an old dark Victorian mansion. So let me know which one looks the best, not only in quality, but which one actually follows the prompt the most. Now here's another comparison. The prompt is, a young woman with long blonde hair and bunny ears on her head, kneeling in front of an open refrigerator. She is wearing a white tank top and black shorts and is holding a black phone in her hand. The fridge is filled with various fruits and vegetables, and there's a potted plant on the right side of the image. The woman appears to be taking a selfie. Alright, so let's reveal the answer now. On the left side is the new image generation model called Flux. The middle one is Stable Diffusion 3, the latest version of Stable Diffusion, which in theory should be the best one. And then on the right, we have Stable Diffusion XL. Now I think we can objectively say that the left one, Flux, looks the best in most cases. So let's go over the prompts really quickly. The first one. The prompt is three African children. You can see Flux is the only one with three kids actually making a peace sign with decent hands and fingers. The one in the middle, SD3, has them kind of making a peace sign, but the fingers are still messed up. So in terms of hands and fingers, Flux is the clear winner here. Next one, both Flux and SD3 are pretty good. Both of them show that there are three children sitting in the trunk of a red car. However, in terms of quality, you can see again Flux just crushed it. The faces are very detailed, and they're each holding a slice of watermelon. The toes actually look real, whereas for Stable Diffusion 3, the faces are kind of blurry, the toes are not really accurate, and the girl in the middle is missing a watermelon. So again, for this one, I would give the point to Flux. And then here, I mean, both Flux and SD3 got the prompt correct, but again, it seems like Flux is just better quality. Especially if you're going for this cinematic, realistic style, Flux is really good at it.
And then this one. Flux nailed this again with her hands and fingers so accurate. SD3 absolutely messed up with hands, arms, and legs, and even SDXL couldn't get the hands right, as this woman has an extra hand, so it's just not great. Coming on to the next one, and here I would say again, Flux is the clear winner in terms of hands and fingers. And the bass guitar. Flux is the only one that was able to generate a bass guitar with four strings. And the strings are actually straight, and the frets look very realistic. Even the drums in the background look more realistic than the other two examples. Now, in this comparison, I would say Stable Diffusion 3 followed the prompt a bit better. In the prompt, we did mention that she's wearing brown shoes. We're not seeing that for Flux. But again, for Flux, the image quality is just way better than the other two. I mean, it's not even close. And then here again, I would say Flux is the clear winner. It followed the prompt really well. It was even able to generate a graphic of a dog on her shirt. Plus, it's the only one that could generate a white Pomeranian. But yeah, you can see that Flux not only followed the prompt really well, but in terms of image quality, it's also a lot better than Stable Diffusion. And then here again, if you just compare the quality, the Flux image looks the best. None of them got three skulls at her feet. Flux had four skulls, SD3 had two skulls, but they both generated the woman correctly. All right, next we have the anime image. In terms of image quality, I would give it to SDXL. There are just so many good anime models built for SDXL, and it's been around for a while, so you can expect SDXL to do a lot better in anime images than its competitors. However, in terms of following the prompt, I would have to give it to Flux again. It's the only one that was able to actually generate the girl eating a slice of apple pie. The other two generators did not generate a slice of apple pie. In the next image, again, I think the clear winner here in terms of quality and following the prompt is Flux. This woman is kneeling down, she does have bunny ears, and she is holding a black phone. She does have a white tank top and black shorts. SD3 looks pretty good, but you can see her left hand is missing and her right foot looks really weird. So again, I think the point goes to Flux. Flux can also generate low-quality cell phone photos like this, or this, or this. You can see it generates the iPhone pretty accurately, plus it nails the hands and the fingers. Plus, this looks like a legit low-quality selfie shot from an actual human. You might be used to AI photos being really polished and everything just looking so perfect, so they were quite easy to tell apart. But if we look at what Flux can achieve, Flux can generate such average-looking photos. I mean, it's insanely hard to tell these apart from real photos. It's also great at generating text. So here's one example, here's another example of text, and here's another example. And note that she has five fingers. Her hands are perfect. And speaking of fingers, finally we have an AI image generator that actually gets hands and fingers correct. So here are some examples. It doesn't matter the position of the hand. The fingers do look correct to some extent. Plus, note that the strings on this guitar and the frets on this guitar are actually straight. None of the other image generators could get this consistently. Here's another example of hands tying a shoe, and you can see it nailed this one as well. So, I mean... This is the only AI image generator that can actually get hands and fingers correct, at least most of the time. And you know, even Midjourney, which was the leading closed source image generator, still could not generate hands and fingers really well. So I mean, now with Flux, you can forget about Midjourney, forget about stable diffusion. Flux is by far the best image generator out there right now. Now, if you're wondering how you can generate these images with Flux, it's pretty simple. There are a few places online where you can use it for free. One option is this space on Replicate. I'll provide the link of this platform in the description. So, you can see it's pretty simple to use. You just enter your prompt, then select the aspect ratio to whatever you want. Leave everything else at the default settings and finally hit the run button. Now for testing purpose, I'm going to enter prompt a man wearing glasses writing in his diary, and then click run. After a few seconds, you'll get the results. So here indeed, we have a man. He's wearing glasses, he's writing in his diary, and the pen actually looks straight and his fingers and his hands actually look real. So this is really impressive. And that was it for today's video. See you again in the next video.